Hi guys, welcome back. And today what we're going to be doing is that awesome riff, legato based riff, where we're going to be practicing our hammer-ons and our pull-offs and putting it into a song. Now, what I love about this little tune is that it's the same thing over and over again. And the backing track kind of adds loads of chords and, and new drum fills and new ideas, making it really interesting to basically play through the same riff over and over again. Um, but by doing that, it really gets the consistency down. This is what we want. We want for the whole track, you can play exactly the same riff just as well all the way through. So it's gonna help with the strength in your hand, your ability to do the legato, the hammer on and the pull off, as well as making sure your right hand is matched up nicely to your left hand, because we're gonna be doing a lot of moving through strings here. So there's a lot covered in a fun way, uh, as always. And um, the riff is this, just to re, Clarify if you haven't listened to the other video. Again. Again. And then finally. Okay, so there's our riff. So let me just take you through it bit by bit. As you can hear, there's three repetitive parts and then on the fourth time round, it's a little different. So we're gonna be in the A minor pentatonic scale. Our favorite scale, <laughs> and it always will be, I'm sure. The, um, the opening part then starts on the uh, seventh fret of the D string. So that's, that's an octave, that's your A, okay? And we're gonna pull off, so we've talked about pull off, so we're gonna pull off to the fifth fret. So remember, we, we kind of pull the third finger down and out to make it pluck the string. Okay, and we get the pull off sound to the fifth fret. Okay, now after we've pulled that off, we're gonna go down to the seventh fret of the A string. Okay, so that's all in one little movement. Notice that this first finger doesn't really need to go anywhere. Okay, that stays exactly where it is. Okay, and this note is plucked, okay? So that is picked. So pull off, pick. Then we're gonna jump up to the G string, fifth fret, and grab that note, okay? And I'm picking that, so it means you're gonna have to jump the plectrum from the A string down to the D string, okay? So we've got. Okay, now we're gonna hold on to that note for just a little bit more. We're not gonna talk in technical, uh, rhythmical terms here, notation terms. We're gonna do that by ear. But then we're gonna come back to that root note of A again, okay? So that's the seventh fret of the D string. So it sounds like this all together so far. Now you will notice I give this, this one in the video and everywhere else a little nudge, just a little nudge. Now, don't worry too much about that for now. We're gonna talk about that when we get to bends. It's just, a, it's just a little flash thing to make it all sound really cool, but I don't expect you to do that right at this point, okay? So, we're gonna go. And with the plectrum hand, we're going pick down, pick down there, pick down there, but then on this last note, an up stroke. Then we're going to come down to the fifth fret of the A string, hammer on to the seventh fret, so that's a hammer on. Then we're going to pluck the D string, it's fifth fret, okay. And then go down to the eighth fret of the E string, and then finish on the root note, the A, so that's the fifth fret of the E string. So that's another jump with the plectrum across strings, okay. So that second part is, okay? In terms of your plectrum, it's all down strokes. Down, 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 okay? So that part all together sounds like this. Okay, a bit slower. Okay, so just to make sure we've got the rhythms correct, we're gonna put it with the drum looper at 80 BPM, and then just make sure we go over it a few more times just to get it nice and ingrained into the skull. <laughs> and uh, that's the best way to get the rhythm learned, okay? So it sounds like this, I'm gonna count you in. One, two, three, four. If you can get it up to this pace, just try and practice along with me. 
It's going to keep going round and round. Okay, right, we'll come back to that in a second. So, there you have it, that's the first part. You repeat that three times in the official song um, before you go to this part. Okay, so we've got a slightly different bit here. So we, we'd start basically exactly the same with the pull off from the seven to the five on the D string, down to the seventh fret on the A string, but then we come back to the D string, fifth fret, we pluck it once, and then we pluck it again, okay? And the crucial thing here is after the first pluck, you actually release the pressure on the fretboard to make it stop. Rather than this, okay, which will be one, you just, just ever so slightly release the pressure on that finger, because then you're gonna pluck it again and hammer on. Okay, so you're going. There's a quick hammer on as well. Okay, so that's probably the most complicated part initially, but it will, it will get really easy. Um, so it goes like this. Okay, so to get that little gap between the two parts, you just release the pressure on the fretboard. Okay, with the drum beat, that bit sounds like this, three, four. Two, we'll do it again. Okay, cool. Right, so, final thing guys is I'll just take you through one whole loop, okay, and then that loop just repeats the whole way through the song, with one exception, just before, just at the end of the chorus, before you start the verse again, you have a one bar break. So that's just one, two, three, four, okay? One bar break and you're back in again. Okay, so that will become obvious as you start playing along with the song. We don't need to go through how many bars that is because it would be silly to count. So. Here it is, I'm gonna add my distortion, I'm gonna put my drum loop on at 80 BPM, and I'm gonna play through one whole round, and then it's yours to practice. So, here we go. One, two, three, four. Again. Third time. And then the fourth time is different. Okay. There we have it guys. So enjoy that and I'll see you next time for some lesson on slides.